Hey, Xander Holt here, the primal sex expert. And I bet you're wondering why I'm sitting on the other side of the room. That's because today I'm talking about prolonged sitting and erectile dysfunction. Can sitting too much cause erectile dysfunction? And in this video, I'm going to talk about why blood flow is so important to our erections, although it's not the only important thing. I'll talk about that too. Two, I'm going to talk about the effects that prolonged sitting has on your blood flow. And three, I'm going to talk about simple solutions to help counteract the effects of prolonged sitting. And as an added bonus, in a few moments, I'm going to talk about a very simple strategy you can apply on days where you have to sit for a long period of time and get a bunch of work done and counteract those effects of prolonged sitting. You definitely want to tune in for that. So first of all, why is blood flow so important to our erections? Well, that's how erections happen, right? Blood flows into our penis, and then when enough pr blood pressure in the penis builds up, it clamps down on the vessels to keep that blood flow in there, and that's how we maintain the erection, right? So the blood flow is critical, but some people will tell you it's all about blood flow, and I'll tell you, that can be so frustrating because there's guys that take ED drugs and they stop working or the ED drugs never work for them in the first place. And those ED drugs are all about blood flow. So blood flow is essential for erections, but it's not enough in and of itself. You got, from a physical perspective, you've got to have testosterone, nitric oxide, CGMP, oxytocin, uh, dopamine. And then there's mental components like performance anxiety and emotional components like sexual shame. All of those things can play into us getting and maintaining our erections. But you always, I always start with blood flow because you got to have the blood flow to get the erection. And it only takes one erection failure for guys to start developing performance anxiety, worrying next time, am I going to get an erection? I don't know. And then they lose their erection because they're so worried about it. And then they develop erectile dysfunction. Now let's talk about um, prolonged sitting. So anytime you sit down, blood flow slows over the entire body to the brain and all the rest of the body. And in particular, if you're slumped over, you know, there's a lot less blood flow going to your heart and in your pancreas. And we're like that a lot, working on our computers, all slumped over. But worst, the worst is our pelvic floor. We're sitting on our pelvic floor. So it gets decreased blood flow the most and that's where we need it the most right so you know we got to counteract that and so how do we do that some simple solutions well first of all when you sit up sit up straight with good posture okay that's going to help open up all this blood flow while you while you're sitting number two you can just get up every 30 minutes and walk a couple of minutes there's been some good studies on this that, that will help counteract a lot of the deficits that you receive from prolonged sitting. And another is you can get yourself a seat cushion. Ideally, get one with uh, a hole cut out so that when your perineum sits on it, you've got more blood flow here, right, to your sexual organs and your prostate, very important. But what about those days where you those aren't an option where you have to sit for a prolonged period of time. You can't just get up. You got to do this work. You got to bang it out. Well, there's been some great work by a NASA scientist named Joan Vernikos, and she has a book called uh, Sitting Kills, Movement Heals. I highly recommend it. But what they showed in there is that if you just simply stand up and then sit down every 15 minutes, it greatly decreases the effects of prolonged sitting. So basically just coming up, standing nice and tall, and you don't even have to stay there. You can go right back down to sitting. Just come down slow and controlled, and just that simple movement every 15 minutes will make a huge difference to your blood flow from prolonged sitting. Now, let me know if you've tried anything like that. Uh, post in the comments below if you've done any kind of intermittent standing and how it's affected your health and your erections. I'd really like to know. All right, that's it for this video. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell to get notified of new videos because I've got a lot more videos coming on blood flow and erections. and You don't want to miss out on those.
Now in our next video, I'm going to talk about exercise and how it affects our sexual functioning. Exercises that boost our sexual functioning and exercises that tank our sexual functioning. So you definitely want to tune in for that. All right, I'll see you in the next video.